Hey, there we go. Serverside development and rock and roll. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh. Morning, everyone. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. My turn to talk now. Okay. Time for software. Can you hear me? I'm going to start. Okay. Hello, everyone. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I want to share with you a short story about how we scaled our image service infrastructure. I want to share with you how we scaled our image service infrastructure. So a little bit about 90min. Um, 90min is a global sports media platform. We have over 45 million uh, users. Um, all our content is generated by our community. Um, one of the most important things to us in the content is the images that come along with it. We have thousands of content uh, created uh, each week, and with it comes millions of images. Um, as we scaled our infrastructure and the user amount grew, we hit a problem with our uh, image service, image service serving. Um, basically, to because we have different platforms and different devices and different sizes, we wanted to optimize our image service to serve image dynamically for each device. So images were resized on delivery to accommodate different uh, device sizes. We used, although we use CDN heavily, in peak times, large percent of the traffic still hits the servers and cause, and cause large uh, amount of servers to spin up and even hold the system sometimes. So, um, so we, what we did basically, we, get, we got to a point that we realized that we have a, a, a set amount of images, a set amount of uh, image sizes, which was about 30 or 40 image sizes, and we realized in order to um, stand up to the uh, large growing amount of users, we should serve the image statically. Um, we decided to use um, the new AWS uh, Lambda infrastructure. We, ho we host all the image sizes on S3, and basically the AWS Lambda service we crop and reduce the image quality and resize each image to the appropriate size. So just one word about uh, AWS, a Lambda. AWS Lambda is, runs your, it's a fully managed environment that runs a function uh, in the cloud. Uh, and another thing which is good about it, it's, uh, it can respond to um, AWS events like S3 savings and DynamoDB table and <coughs> basically you can use it as an application for a analytic processing, aggregating data, crawling and scheduling maintenance tasks on your infrastructure. So what we did with the system, a user um, generates an article, the article gets, the article gets to, uh, uh, hits our uh, Lambda service, Lambda function, that Lambda function crops the images, saves it to a cropped bucket, the bucket throws an event to about 30, 40 uh, Lambda functions that each one has a, a set of sizes. Those sizes are saved in the buckets and the path names are generated and saved in the client, and the client only gets and uh, goes to S3 to get the images. Through the CDN to the S3. That way all the images are created at uh, article creation time and not dynamically served. So we have, we have zero time on our uh, image service. So, Few measured results. Uh, we have 
zero downtime on our image service. We reduced our media server count to one. Uh, we reduced cost from roughly about $4,000 a month to $6 a month for the same uh, job and uh, an amount of processing. Uh, few tips about using Lambda. You should have a developer, a deployment a strategy because Lambda is really hard to deploy to. So it's a, we use the on bash script that we wrote, but you can use Apex, which is creating more traction, and serverless, which is has over 7,000 um, likes on GitHub. Um, there's versioning that should be considered that Lambda is not providing for the functions, which is um, extremely useful and hard to do um, by your own. Um, those saving 300 events, which is also interesting. Um, that's it. Thank you very much.